Hi everyone, Lolly here. Today I'm going to share in the open collaboration um, Thrifty Thursday hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. So I love to watch these videos with everybody's hauls and what they have and what other people have in different areas in their thrift stores and things like that. So um, I'm just going to share my... I'm excited that... I recently discovered that we have a little shop here called Spare Parts. And normally I shop at the Austin Creative Reuse store. And if you're in the Austin area in Texas, you have to go there. Um, but we haven't been in the office lately. We've been teleworking from home, so I haven't been there as often. And then the lady at the craft mall told me that we have a store like that called Spare Parts. It's right down the road from my house and I didn't even know, but now I'm hooked. So I'm going to start with this little batch. I bought this my first trip there. I've only been there twice, um, but I just discovered it during Christmas. But I bought these. They didn't come in this container. They came in a little Ziploc bag, but they were 50 cents. I just love these colors. They're like jewel tones, but all of this came in one little ziploc and it was literally 50 cents so i think they're perfect for you know um if you've seen my other videos i make different little dolls and projects um out of just spare parts and bits and pieces so i think these are going to be so pretty just on one of the doll dresses that i make or i want to make like a junky boho kind of journal maybe i don't know but i'm in love with these i wish there was more of them. I did go the other day and looked and I didn't find any more, but I mean, that's just awesome. Let's see if I can get my lighting any better. But so that was one. This is actually like kind of a leather feel to it. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right. This one's kind of denim, but anyway, I think they're just gorgeous colors and materials here. So um, that was one of my finds. Like, look at this little guy. Isn't that awesome? So, um, this one has beads. This one also has beads on it. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I'm super excited. And it was really nice. I mean, it was literally 50 cents. I'm sure I would have paid more for them because I love them, but that was a great find. I have a little bits and pieces just because I've been cutting them for other projects um I'm working on my next doll and so I'm thinking somewhere this trim is going to go on her skirt somewhere so I'm still working that out but that's kind of what I do with them um and I think last tag Tuesday I made tags using these there were two dollars but there's so many in here that I thought that it was worth it um they're all really beautiful pictures um, from inside, I guess, the Vatican and museums. Really beautiful. So, um, anyway, that was one of my finds there. And then I went just a few days ago and I found these. Now, I do embroidery also and slow stitch. But these are to go over um, hangers in your closet. So, someone started this one which is awesome. Look at that tiny stitch. So I'm going to continue. I hope that I can match that quality, but um, anyway, they have a little hole here. You put them over your hangers and I, I paid, let me see. It even has the, what colors to use and things like that. So I paid a dollar for these and um, there are one, two, Three, there was four of them and I think one of them somebody started to paint that was an awesome idea too so I'm going to soak them they're a little bit browned I don't know how old they are but um I don't know if that says on there let's see here's my little bag still um I also purchased this in my first um visit there just before Christmas and for this, all of this, and I've actually used some, you could see in some of my videos, um, I paid a dollar for all of that. 
it's just beautiful. So definitely well worth the dollar that I spent on there. Now, I don't crochet or knit. I wish I did, but I don't know how. But on my dolls, sometimes I can cut them, use them for legs or arms or whatever kind of project I'm working on. If it's shadow box, I might need a little piece of wood. I think these are a little more than I would normally pay, but I really need them for my next project. So I think at the Austin Creative Reuse, I really only paid like 25 or 50 cents for these. So, but I need them, so I went ahead and paid that dollar. This is just, um, it's a little chipboard book that I can alter the front and make a little journal out of. It does have the pages inside. It uh, looks like a Stampin' Up! product. So that's pretty cool. And that was 50 cents, so I'm going to get some fun out of that. Um, also, there's a Bow Bunny. Um, they're binder refills, but they're chipboard or really thick cardboard. But um, make a cute little book out of that. Also paid 50 cents for that one as well. Um, <laughs> my littlest grandson loves to craft with me. Actually, the big ones do too. They just don't admit it. <laughs> um, but it's on a little binder ring there. And it looks like little paint splots. So I bought that so that they could play and paint. Make a little book out of that. So the spare parts store that I go to, it's not very big, but it is, um, it's just got everything. Paints, paper, um, I wish it had more metal pieces and scraps like that that I use in my projects, but that's okay. They'll get there. The Austin Creative Reuse store started out very small, and now they've moved to a new location that's just huge. This I bought because, and I think the patterns are... 25 cents and my sister-in-law um loves trains she just set up her the train set her dad had when she was little they found it and so i wanted to make her something out of this i'm not sure what so 25 cents though that's not bad i love to embroidery so um i have that so and again um i got another pair of these i won't do that again that was a little bit much but I don't know if they're old or what, so, but they're pretty. So now I have all of this binding and riprack. And so you can see that this looks old and worn already, so it won't take much to tea dye that. This is really old. I don't know if they have dates. I think even with my glasses, I can't read that really small print, but. They definitely all look very vintage. This one's a little bit wider. I mean, how fun are those? So, here's the whole really tiny rickrack for a dollar. I think that's a really good deal. There was, there's a lot on here, so um, it doesn't appear to be too old, but um, still we're well worth a dollar, I believe. Here's this little cutie. Um, it looks vintage. I don't know if there's dates on them or not, but anyway, here's a really pretty kind of rusty color here. Um, I paid more for it now than they did back then, <laughs> but it probably equals out the same, but um, definitely worth 25 cents. These, I just found these old buttons so I can just use them. Um, they're actually where you cover them and make your own buttons, but I'll probably leave them metal and use them probably on this doll somewhere. She's going to be a Victorian kind of character. These I bought, um, they're just small, like popsicle sticks are just smaller, but I use them a lot in uh, my projects. And my grandson uses them a lot when he's here also. So 25 cents. We'll both get a lot of fun out of those. These are tiny bells that I'm just going to save for my next um, Christmas shadow box. And they're, they're not um, open on the inside. Of course, they're just wooden, but I think that's definitely a good deal. Just 25 cents for 
five of them. That's not a bad deal, I don't think. So, um, and then, of course, my love here. I Since I embroidery, I also do slow stitch. I also use embroidery thread in my journals when I make them um, to tie on things, make a little scrappy um, bunch of thread, and then use as an embellishment. So these are all 25 cents, and I just bought some of these that have the different colors at Hobby Lobby, and I paid $1.79 and $2.19, I think. Um, no, actually at Joann's for these that have the different kind of variegated colors, so which are super fun, but all of them are 25 cents. So beautiful purple. So that's my haul. It was a quick one. I just wanted to join in on the fun and I'm excited how found the store. So I also bought like, um, what do you call it? Like batting, the flat batting that I use inside of my slow stitch projects but that's over in the drawer and I got a whole um, little over a yard of it and it was like 50 cents and I bought two bundles. I actually bought a bag of, um, they were like images people had cut from magazines and things like that. I don't like that old smoky smell depending on whose house it came from. So I had to throw those. Um, I just couldn't handle the smell. It was just really smoky. So, um, they were in a Ziploc, so maybe nobody knew that, but um, would have been some really nice images. I just um, couldn't hang on to them. So, But thanks for joining me. Go over to Sherry's channel. You'll find the list of everybody that is participating in the collaboration, and it's so fun to watch because everybody has the funnest things, and it's interesting to find what people have purchased and I always love to see like what's at your thrift store compared to what's at mine things like that so um anyway check out her channel watch all of her videos she's so talented and then um watch everybody else's videos for thrifty thursday she also has tag tuesday so go over there sign yourself up and get involved in all the fun all right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.